Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make an interplanetary ballistic missile. Yeah, here are the ICBMs, haven't you? The missiles that can go across entire like, continents. Well, this is an interplanetary ballistic missile, so I want to go all the way from here on the cell all the way to Dune. Anyways, there's two ways to do this. There's the easy way where I just put a missile mod tracker on that and then a target over there and it just goes there automatically. That's really easy and that's boring. And then there's a the hard way, <laughs> which is what I'm going to do, where I program the missile to go from there all the way to there automatically and like hits, I guess, middle of that planet. That's the plan. So let's get straight into it, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to start off first from the top with the warhead, basically. I want it to be a cluster bomb with the bomb base. So I can cover more areas, because I don't think this missile is going to be the most precise thing in the world. And then, I also want that to have the tracking mechanism, because well, it has to track all the way till the end. So that's where all the logic for the getting there is going to be in, at least for the final stage. Alright, so you can see now that I am in space right now. I've configured these two compasses to basically always point me in that direction because they're triggering this gyro. So when these compasses activate, they will automatically point towards that direction, which, I, which is basically what I want. First stage is going to take the missile up into space, and then after that, it's going to be pointing towards Dune, which I have it currently configured to. Maybe I can go a bit more to the right, but yeah. And then after that, it should go fly straight over to Dune. And then what happens at Dune? Well, that's what I'll do now, I guess. Alright, let's move out of the way, and it should automatically go to Dune. So let's follow it. It should get more and more speed as it goes. Oh, I can't catch up. Oh, there we go. Where is it? We outran it. Where did it go? So, this is going to be hard to track. <laughs> I realize this now. Unless, we put our seat on here and make it a passenger seat. Maybe that's our best option right now. So, hopefully this works better. I press E, those things attach, and let's see how this missile does. Now, I still have to make it go down, because this is going to fly right over Dune. But I don't know what altitude it's going to go at the start. That's slightly confusing. Oh, what happened here? Why did the thrust turn off? Wait. The sensor just stopped working? For some reason? That's not how sensors work? They're not supposed to just, like, stop? Once you reach this hurting speed. Oh, right. wait, what? Why does it just stop at 490? 
I, I, that's, that's very weird. I can fix it by just setting these to toggle. So even if the sensor stops, they'll still keep on going, but that shouldn't be happening either way. That's weird. All right, we're gaining speed. Even if the sensor turns off, which it just did, and they sh What is going on? These thrusters are set to toggle, so even if they stop receiving input, they should still be going. How does this work? Why is it... Why is it doing that? Am I being dumb or is this actually like something that's not supposed to be happening? It's just me testing. You can cut this out. Why does it do this? How does it... How does it like automatically stop moving? Alright, we've learned something new. <laughs> Sensors behave weirdly in space. Once you get up to a certain speed for some reason. There's probably some like obvious explanation for this that I'm not figuring out, but yeah. I'm not sure why that's the case. So finally let's try this again. Uh launch. There we go. Is E also the button for the bombs? It sure is. Before I launch, I'm just gonna configure all the other stuff in this, so we stop wasting time. All right, let's try this and see if we can make it to Dune with this missile. Now it's automatically gonna pitch down a bit, but I hope it doesn't pitch down enough so that we miss Dune or something. It's, I made it pitch down a bit, though, because before we would just fly right over Dune, and we're picking up quite a bit of speed. It's looking good. And we're headed straight for Dune. Uh, so far, it's so good. Now, I have it so that once we enter atmosphere, those fins should open out. And then, after one second, the bomb base will start going. And they have infinite cycle, basically. Because there's five of them. So, let's see how that does. Well, this is looking good so far. We're gonna intercept Dune. So, I guess the gyros were working. And we're going really, really fast. And we are entered atmosphere, and that is not ideal. I have no idea what just happened, but that was not ideal. Whatever happened. <laughs> Why do we flip around like that? Alright, I'm going to try a few more times. We should activate the next stage. It flips forward and then takes on this trajectory. And I'll see what it does. All right, we're about to enter atmosphere, and it does the whole flipping thing, and it starts dropping bombs as well. Why does it start dropping bombs instantly? It should not do that. It should wait a second before doing it. And we were a bit high, so I'm gonna turn off the gyro angle. And let's fire the missile. Alright, it's pointing down a lot more. This is definitely way too much. Alright then. The trajectory is looking good. We should intercept Dune with this trajectory, hopefully. Alright, we just flew right above Dune. Get an atmosphere. Please don't do a real... Okay, did the weird flip thing. But at least it didn't shoot it. Now it's shooting its bombs. And we did that, yay. So, if we kept on going, we would have actually intercepted the target, so I think I have a slightly new idea. Alright, the plan is that once we get to Dune, this is going to be the stage that actually is in atmosphere. And it's going to fly over the land a bit, and then it's going to pitch down over the spawn point to basically hit it there. And basically before then... I'm going to have some other stage take me all the way to Dune instead of this stage, because this is a bit slow. And, I mean, it goes quite fast by the end, but it takes a while to get there, and I don't like that, so, yeah. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to make a proper, like, the rest of the build. 
So let me make a bigger rocket after behind this. Let me make the second stage. That's going to take us all the way to Dune. And at that point, might as well make the entire rocket. So let me just build all that. All right, then I have a bit of explaining to do. Basically, I made the rest of the ICBM on my IPBM interplanetary ballistic missile on my own. So <laughs> this is it. Those two side boosters can take us to basically space, and then that middle booster will take us all the way to Dune. So yeah, just launch. I press space. I'm not pressing anything else. This will launch by itself. And while it's launching, let me explain a few other things. <laughs> uh, I'm moving the camera. So. Yeah, that should detach, and now we have the middle booster. Now, this is very cool. It gets close to the center of Dune, but it's not fully accurate. It's sometimes, like, it's not accurate to the middle point. And I've tried everything I can. I can't make it fully accurate. I've literally spent more than an hour and a half of just fine-tuning the sensors. Like, not the sensors, the compasses for the left-right direction. And the gyro strength for the up-down direction get to land where I want it to, but it just doesn't work. This is as close as I could get it. And one other thing, those fins at the front that help me slow down with sand and atmosphere, I would have liked them to be detachable, but if I did that, then I would have to redo the entire like compass thing. So right now we landed a bit close to the center of the planet, so we might want to enter the atmosphere a bit further in. But this is about as close as I could get it, and kaboom. <laughs> Yeah, I got rid of the bomb phase, I just made one big bomb, and now my game's lagging. Fun! So, we did successfully make an interplanetary ballistic missile <laughs> that automatically goes to the dune from the cell. We just didn't make it accurate enough to hit something. But whatever, it's still cool. And that is also why the launch pad detaches to make it more accurate, because I don't want the collisions to mess with the trajectory. Anyways, yeah. That's it for today's video, I guess. Uh, yeah, we have an interplanetary ballistic missile. So if you liked the video, then like. If you want to see more, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And it looks like we might get a better launch. We seem to be a lot closer to the middle of the map. This looks like one of the better launches. We're a bit to the right, though, unfortunately. Also, that whole up-down thing that's doing in atmosphere, that's not my control either. It's automatic. Okay, we overshot a bit and to the right. See, this is what I mean. Massive inaccuracy. But it's cool, so whatever. Can't complain.